All right, so let's try getting the water ripple effect to work in Sonic Worlds and click Infusion, uh, whatever. Okay, so first of all, uh, you double click on the right on the screen, you're gonna see the, the extensions list, and then it, you're gonna try to find the perspective of it. You just type perspective, and you might show up. If it doesn't show up, then you go into the manager. Keeps opening another window, sorry for that. And then you're gonna go over here and type perspective, and then you're gonna find perspective object, and you click install. That's it, and it should show up over here, right? Now we're gonna double click on it, and then you need to place it somewhere. Generally, it's at this size. Oh, there's an invisible object over there. So right now, we're gonna copy, paste it, put it on a. Usually, it's a layer below the UI, but uh, you know, uh, still above everything else. So I'm gonna put it on layer six in this case. Now I'm gonna make this layer, this one, invisible, just so I can see what I'm doing. And you see those little checkerboard lines, or whatever they're called. We're just gonna make this thing around the same size as the frame. And it's 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 hard. Like we can actually move it. So at the end of the day, we can just go over here and change the numbers. I think it's 427 by 240. Right, so it's around that size, right? Now, just to see it working, we're gonna uncheck follow the flame. It's already, it's already checked. In this case, in the property, it's set to panorama, horizontal, and right to top. Those things you shouldn't really worry about too much for now, but they are interesting. Never click resample, usually it just doesn't work. Zoom value is how powerful it is. Offset is, it's, you're gonna see what it is later. Sine waves is something else for sine waves. When you click play, it should show up as something. In this case, you can see a little... Sorry for the audio. In this case, you can see a little perspective effect showing up. And as you can see, it's already working. It's actually not very hard. Now, how to do the, uh, the sine waves, you're gonna go over here and set it to sine wave. Sine wave usually has like very waves uh, active on the bar borders, but at the middle, there's not much. I don't know exactly why it, does, it doesn't... Uh, it, does do, it does do that, but... It's, it's the effect that works. So we're going to go over here on the stage. We're going to go over here, set, set here, always. And then we're going to go here and the perspective objects, set offset. It keeps going over there. I'm going to set the time divided by a value. And usually the higher the value is, the slower the sine waves are going to be moving. So I'm going to set it to like 20 since it's a division instead of multiplication. And in this case, now we can already see some waves. It's very trippy. But yeah, okay, so now we're gonna go back over here, set the zoom value to something like three. And now we set sine waves to something like 10. And then we can keep testing it out until we get the result that we want. In this case, you can barely see them, but they're still sort of like vertical to a degree. So what we can do is that we can go over here in direction and set them to vertical. Or whatever, I, I don't even know. Like. Now they, they kind of look more like they're coming from the side. It's actually hard to see them to a degree. And you might want to increase the speed by setting it to time divided by two or something like that. Time is essentially a variable that just keeps, it's a variable that just keeps going up. And now we can sort of see like a better ripple effect. And as you can see at the center, it's barely active, but it's very active towards the sides. If you want an effect that is overall throughout the scene, the whole thing, you can set it to sign offset, but it does have some issues. For example, sometimes you might see an effect where you see some of those black things at the bottom. That's because it's grabbing something that is outside the image. Like this, the game is rendering an image, which is this, and then it's deforming that image. But there's nothing below it. It's just black. So it just, it just does that. So sign offset might not actually be the best one since the effect doesn't exactly look right in this case. So you might just want to set it to sine wave, right? But there's more to it. How do I set it to water? So here we have the water level. I'm just going to remove those enemies. Just so we know. I can just leave that thing there. It's fine. Now, there's a little object. I'm not sure where it is exactly. But it's an object that goes on top of the scene. I'm going to be a while until I find it, I think. If you click this mask object, it's very interesting because it only shows us the the frames that like this, the layers that we're clicking on. Some people may actually be very confused by it. But yeah, okay, so here's the water thing. Generally, the pivot of, on, of it is set over here at the top. There might be some, some issues with it because it might have been changed. But generally, if we set respective objects, position, select position, and we set it to this thing. And then there's this window, of course, you click OK. When we click play, generally, we're going to be able to actually, let me just, Resize the window a little bit, so it's easier to see. Let's get in there. It's going rather slow for me right now, I'm not sure why. Maybe just because I have a lot of shit running. I should have moved Sonic, I completely forgot about it. 
But now we have the water ripple effect only staying around the water. There's another issue, like we still selected follow the frame. We might have to uncheck it so it's, it's a little bit more stable. But regardless, we can just keep it this way. There's already a sine wave effect working here. I guess you can probably already see it, like you can see around this, this area. So this is pretty much it. Just to review, set the position to it, set the offset to divided by two, or the higher the number, the slower the sine wave is going to be moving. Remember that. Uh, you set the position to this object to generate water, which is, is usually on layer six. And that's also where perspective layer is. Uh, keep in mind to keep it below the UI, but still above everything else. And that's really it. See you guys some other time.